What's up, Demon Nation? I'm Andre Larios. And I'm Serenity Flores. And here's what's going on in your school. This evening marks the beginning of the Islamic holy month of Ramadan. Here to tell us more from the Muslim Student Association is Saman Beg. Saman? Hey everyone, Ramadan is right around the corner and Muslims around the world and especially Muslims in our school are getting ready to partake in this holy month. Let's hear more from students on what Ramadan is and what it means to them. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar. About 1.9 billion Muslims wake up every day before sunrise to start their fast. They, they'll start their day with a good breakfast to help sustain themselves throughout the day. As soon as the sun rises, the fast begins. Eating and drinking is not permitted till sunset unless there are certain circumstances. Throughout the day, we devote a majority of our time to self-reflection and self-improvement. A few examples will be through prayer and reading the Quran. As sunset nears, Muslim families come together to break their fast. The meal at sundown is called iftar. Ramadan is an important month for Muslims all around the world. Coupled with self-improvement, it also focuses on helping the needy. Charity and selfless acts are heavily promoted for better faith. Here is what your Muslim peers and mainies have to say about the meaning and importance behind this month. Um, Ramadan um, is special for various reasons, but specifically I like uh, the fact of gathering of family and friends and, you know, just eating traditional foods and, you know, the concept behind Ramadan. It helps me become closer with God and it helps me break off bad habits. It's like the month where you get to do something you don't do the entire year. And um, it's important because it's like the month where everyone comes together and tries to like achieve one goal, you know. Ramadan isn't just about um, staying hungry. Um, a big part of that is uh, that it teaches you patience and um, um, a lot of self-control. To me, it just means like discipline because it's, it's like the holy month. You want to get rid of bad habit, habits as like um, any kind of cursing, you know, any kind of bad habit. And it just teaches me to be a better person and to feel for the poor with for not eating. It means strengthening my spirituality in every way that I can and just giving to everybody every chance that I get and being able to help the people around me and just be the best version of myself, especially in this month because of all the good reward that you get from it and the good deeds that come out of it, especially during Ramadan. In order to educate everyone a bit more about Ramadan, the Mainies Muslim Student Association is hosting a fast-thon next month. The fast-thon is an opportunity to try fasting for a day, and it will take place on April 5th from 6 to 8 p.m. for all students and staff who wish to partake. To attend, you will need to buy a wristband with a fasting guide for $3 in the bookstore or during lunch periods the week of April 3rd. We encourage participants to try fasting for a day from the start of the school day till the dinner event. The event will be filled with fun activities and a guest speaker. Hope to see you there. Thanks, Aman, for telling us about Ramadan. In other news, this is the last week of Hosa Club collecting donations for coloring books, crayons, non-slip socks, toothpaste, toothbrushes to create care packages for children in the cystic fibrosis ring at Lutheran General. These children face unique challenges, and we want to provide them with some comfort during their stay. Donations can be dropped off by the bus shelter, front office, bookstore, CTE office, and the teacher's worker room. You can help make a big difference in the lives of these children and will bring a smile to their faces. Thank you for your generosity and support in the effort. Broadcasting Club is showing the anti-hate satire film Jojo Rabbit at 3.30 today in room D115. Jojo Rabbit is a 2019 drama comedy film starring Scarlett Johansson and Sam Rockwell. Jojo Rabbit tells the story of Jojo, a 10-year-old German boy growing up in World War II. Jojo is a Hitler youth member who discovers that his mother is hiding a young Jewish girl in their home. Admission to this amazing movie is free and snacks will be provided. Manny's Cares is hosting a Dine and Share event this Friday from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Golf Mill Panera Bread. A portion of your purchase will support the Chicago Coalition for the Homeless. Who will be crowned the next MX Demon? You can find out at the MX Demon competition on Thursday, April 6. Come see your friends and fellow students competing for the spot. They'll show off their talents in this special performance. Secure your seats beforehand by buying tickets from contestants or junior lyceum members, or buy them right at the door. Proceeds earning, earned from the show will go towards the two local charities to help homeless and foster children, as well as those facing domestic violence. So make sure to come. Orcasis is putting on their spring show this Thursday at 7 p.m. in the Actor Studio. There will be a $5 donation at the door. The Orcasis team produced a video discussing this year's team and the up-and-coming show. Check it out! 
Vanessa. I've been doing orchestras for four years, and this is my first year here at New East. Um, hi, my name is Rudiana, and this is my fourth year doing orchestras, and two were at New East. The reason I joined orchestras was I needed a hobby to do after school. I gradually got more involved, and one thing I'm going to miss about it um, after leaving is definitely the community we built, you know, the friendships and how close we've gotten, especially since there's only a few people here. And um, something that I really enjoyed about Wordices was having a place to go and dance. There's a reason like, why I joined. And something that I'll probably miss the most is probably yeah, like the community that we've uh, built here and kind of getting to know people through the way they express themselves through dance. So I think it's really beautiful that we can take such art form and express those kinds of emotions. Contour show on Thursday, March 23 at 7 p.m. We'll be accepting $5 donations at the door, and we have prepared 18 dances for you that are both student-led and with some guest choreographers. Our show is called Love and Light, and our two guest choreographers is Maria from Boom Crack Dance Company, who has choreographed a hip-hop dance, and Marlene from Barefoot Hawaiian, who has choreographed a traditional Hawaiian dance. If you come to our show, you'll be able to see such dances as K-pop, Latinx, and hip-hop, and many more. Maine East and organizations all over the country are celebrating Women's History Month throughout March. Check your email for an interactive calendar detailing events happening all around the school. Spring sports are well underway and the school is buzzing about the fast start of the boys' water polo team. Here to tell us more about them and other spring sports is our very own Jonathan Matthew. Jonathan? Thanks guys, the spring season is underway and already there is so much to look forward to. Congratulations to the Fresh Soft Indoor Track Team as they brought home the CSL Track and Field Championship this past weekend. As the indoor season wraps up, the athletes look forward to the outdoor track season as that will start up right when they come back from spring break with the prospect night invite and they hope to continue their successful season. The boys water polo team is off to an amazing start, starting their season undefeated as the start of this week. This is the best start this program has had since 2013 and with a dominating win against the rival Maine West last week, they look to keep this win streak alive heading into the break. Tonight, the boys' volleyball squad will take on Fenton in the Fieldhouse, and as this is a season opener, they will look to start the season off strong. So be sure to show up and cheer for the Demons tonight at 6 p.m. The girls' soccer team will have a home game against Taft High School tomorrow, tomorrow night at the Maine Memorial Stadium. You can catch the girls play at 7 p.m. as they look to start off their streaking on the right foot. There's a lot of season kickoffs happening this week, and for these spring sports, so be sure to look out for more news, schedules, and updates on a218.com. That's it for me. I'm Jonathan Matthew, as always, and this is your Blue Demon Sports Report. Thanks, Jonathan. I'm Andre Larios. And I'm Serenity Flores. Bye. Bye. Bye.